Hey guys, Willem from Blauberg Snake Rescue here. I just removed a very young, very small Cape Cobra from uh, someone's place near Melkwell Strand. I'm just going to show it to you quickly. It's got some very interesting colors and then I'm going to release it. If you don't know how to deal with snakes, it's best to leave them to, to the professionals. Don't try and uh, handle them yourself. Um, but in this case, luckily they uh, they were able to do it safely. They weren't really sure what it was either, which is of course another danger. If you don't know what it is, do not go anywhere near it. Stay at a safe distance of five meters and keep an eye on it while you wait for the snake catcher to arrive. There's no reason to rush and there's no reason to panic and there's no reason to try and do anything with the snake yourself. That's why I'm here. I'll come out, I'll sort it out for you. You won't have to worry about anything. Okay, this little guy's stuck in the paper here. I'm just going to try and get him out. There we go. Okay. So, that's a little Cape Cobra. Let me show you some close-ups. Uh, it's a juvenile. It's a very young one still. Note the interesting colors. The body is yellow, but it's got black speckles on it, especially around the neck there. And then the head is black. Now, if we're lucky, it might make a little bit of a hood for you to see. Okay, there you can see him hooding a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> so Cape Cobras are neurotoxic, they're very dangerous. Um, even a baby Cape Cobra like this, if it bites you, you're in trouble. Uh, you need to get to a hospital as quickly as possible. Don't think just because it's a small snake, it can't do anything to you. If it has venomous parents, then it's just as venomous the moment it gets out of the egg. If you like the work we do, we always appreciate donations. We've got some awesome donors like Reload Espresso Bar on board already. They're helping us conserve the wildlife and you can too.